What's going on people of the internet? It's your man 2J and today we have another DIY. For today what we're going to do is we're actually going to check out the air box and air filter and see the status of it. And you can also use this guide if you really want to change out your air filter as well. I have a K&N inside here but I just like to check just to see how it's going and it also gives me something to do, especially in these times. All right, well, first things first, we're going to need tools. So I have a little set over here. I have sizes 3 all the way to, I think this is a size 7 Allen key, and just a flathead screwdriver. Also, a pair of gloves will help. So first things first, I already put this on a stand. Kick stand up. From here, the most basic thing to do, remove the seat. So the first thing we want to do is we want to remove this cover. This cover over here takes a size 4 Allen as well as there's two push pins that are back here. This applies to both sides. After removing the screw as well as the two push pins, the next thing you want to do is grab it from under here and push it outwards towards you, being very careful that these two screws that are over here do not hold this in place. So what you're going to do is pull and that's it. So you have a little rubber sock socket over here I want to say that's hooked onto this piece that's right over here. And do that on both sides. Next are these two push pins. These two push pins are also followed by an additional two that are further down here, all part of the same piece. Next, this piece comes out. Then I'm going to turn this so I can show you guys this rubber piece comes out easily but it's hooked on right over here. Next, we're gonna take off this bolt right over here and repeat it on the opposite side. Also, so far, we've only been using a four millimeter Allen. And now the final step, we have two bolts we are going to remove. I'm going to take these out down here and I'm going to show you exactly the reason why. And if I am correct, I think these are three, nope, four. Four millimeters.
So far, everything's been four. After removing these, after removing those and everything, the gas tank is free. Now, do not pull the gas tank all the way up because you have fuel lines and everything that are still attached from the bike itself, the engine itself, to the gas tank. So what I like to do is to rotate it either way, clockwise or counterclockwise, but because I'm standing here, I do it clockwise because, yeah. So be very careful. This is the pivot point right here. So we're going to lightly lift this up. And I have this resting here. What I should have done is I should have put microfiber towels here, but it's okay. Put some microfiber towels so you don't scratch anything. Okay, she's good. I'm fine with the bike. These are aftermarket parts, so again, put some microfiber towels on. Now, here is your airbox. Now, your airbox, you actually need a Phillips, which I didn't tell you guys from the get-go, but I apologize, and you should. So here, there are 10 screws, all of which you should undo, obviously. But before you do that, what I like to do is remove the ECU. Now, like any other electrical connector, the ECU has a pin, but the only thing is it's not on the top. It's actually on the bottom. So I just use a flathead, and that's pretty much all she wrote. Let me give you guys a better uh, angle. These are the two electrical connectors that are attached to the ECU. So what we are going to do... Underneath... Underneath these two pins is, normally what you do is uh, with the electrical connectors, there's a little pin on the top where you push down and you pull out. For these, for some odd reason, it's actually the opposite. So it's on the bottom. So what I normally use is a flathead screwdriver, get it on the, uh, the bottom and then pull it out. There's one. You have to be very careful because you're playing with the brains of your bike. You gouge any wire and you're in for a really, really bad time. All right, there's a second. You're gonna lift up these tabs. Well, one hand could lift. Mm, there we go. There we go. If you need to get your ECU tuned, that's pretty much how you take out your ECU. Now that we have the ECU out, now it's time to undo all of the bolts. There's 10, by the way. Now after all 10 bolts are removed, you have two choices. You can either lift it up or just to be on the safe side, don't use this. Do not use a flathead because you don't want to gouge anything. Just lift it up. Be very careful. Very careful. Yeet. There we go.
Also be aware, this insert right over here, whoop, these two ECU cables are inside there, so just pull them out. But yeah, and this is pretty much how you access your airbox. Whoop. This is your air filter, and mine looks like it can definitely use some recharging or just cleaning. Actually, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad, actually. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a recharge kit with me right now, so it's fine. I already have it in the mail coming, so it's okay. So I'll just do this all over again. No biggie. And this is how you access your air filter. Well, the inside of your air box, the air filter. Just pull out the cartridge. Pull a replacement in. This is the same air filter. This is only for demonstration purposes. Now with your air filter, you want to squeeze it in there, push it in there, make sure there are no gaps, make sure everything is sitting flush. Perfect. Also make sure there are no contaminants inside any of these. Once you got the air filter in, you're pretty much done. All you have to do is redo the steps, but just in reverse. And just so we can speed things up, I'm just going to show you guys how to do everything all over again. Just fast forward. Now I did a cut, so I'm just gonna be working with my hands right now. So now the next step is uh, gas tank. Make sure all the lines holds up from the two sides. Ooh. So now that we got, oh, this is not on completely. I had to take a break because my battery died. But we are tightening these. Okay, perfect. Uh, now that we got these done, now we're gonna go to the tank. I do it so it's not even snug. I wanna try to even them together Tighten them evenly together. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do this slightly slanted. You really shouldn't do it like this though. So first things first, we are going to throw this on.
and I'm just putting one in to hold. Because we are going to put the rubber piece in and connect it over here. Then get this clip that's in here, and this side is almost done. Let's just work one side at a time. So after we get the major thing on the top, and then the little rubber thing, because thing is going to be my favorite word. Once we do one, one, two, then we get this on. Let's just put on the side intake. So the first thing with the side intake is you want to try to get this in first. Just try to wiggle it around. It's definitely a pain in the butt to do, but it's doable. There we go. This is a big pain to do because I have these aftermarket body panels. Then let's tighten. Add the two push pins. And this side is done. Now we're gonna repeat the process on the opposite side. Last but not least, let's put in your seat. And now you're all done. Now you guys know how to access your air filter. If you guys like the content, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to your man 2J. I'll catch you guys in the next one.